tons of people are looking to offload their Pokemon TCG cards. That's why it's time to buy. Here's five more undervalued cards. What's going on Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel, TCG Funhouse, where we open up Pokemon cards, we talk about Pokemon cards, but more importantly than anything else, we're here to have fun with you guys here in the Pokemon community. Huge shout out to everybody that came by last Friday for our free Evolving Skies booster box break. It was so much fun. The love and support that you guys had given the channel on that night and every single night in the past forever is absolutely amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. It was so much fun. Congratulations to everybody who picked up a free pack and who got the celebrations giveaway we had that night as well. But this is not why we're here. We are here because of our current giveaway, which is our Celebrations Elite Trainer Box here for the month of December. And if you want your entry details for this beautiful, astonishing, delicious, that's a little weird, Elite Trainer Box, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to get all of your entry details. While you're here, guys, make sure you drop a sub on the channel. We do at least three Pokemon related videos every single week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Pokemon investing, collecting. We have an awesome Gym Leaders podcast with ASX TCG as well. Hit the notification bell, guys, so you don't miss out on any of our awesome, amazing, fun content. But I know that you guys are really here because you want those five undervalued cards for your Pokemon investment portfolio. And that's what we're going to be getting into today. But first, remember, the TCG Funhouse facts when you are buying and storing away your Pokemon TCG cards for long-term growth. F stands for fan favorite, A for affordability, C for condition, T for trends, and S for supply. If you follow those five key ingredients, those five key points, you're going to have an amazing, awesome portfolio 20, 25 years from now when you're looking to offload them for retirement at the age of 25 because I know you're a baby right now while you're watching this video which is kind of weird but it could be true if you're a baby leave a comment below but without further ado let's dive right in to today's video and starting off the list in no particular order is the Alakazam EX secret rare from Fates Collide this card and this Pokemon checks all of the boxes that we talk about Alakazam is easily a lot of everybody's fan favorite psychic type Pokemon. It's a Kanto uh, Pokemon, so you know the Gen 1ers are all about it. Very, very popular, very powerful. He was so OP back in the red and blue games, like one shot and everything. It was banana jams. It was insane, guys. Um, but I also like this card for another reason, because it's from the X and Y era. Before we're getting these mass bulk factory printing that's going on right now for Sword and Shield, X and Y was not the most popular era for Pokemon TCG collectors. So like back in that, you know, 2014, 15, and 16 time, Pokemon was actually like at an all-time low in terms of popularity. And then Pokemon Go came out and brought a lot of people back to the game. Evolutions released in 2016, which got everybody excited and back into the TCG. So that little era right before then is really like a hot spot where I think buying these cards and loading them up on them is fantastic because a lot of people weren't around collecting them back then and there wasn't as many printed as there were back in the Wizards of the Coast era or in the Sword and Shield era. So that little sweet spot in between and it's just a beautiful card, guys. The Golden Border, Umbreon makes an appearance in the card as well. It is absolutely phenomenal. Such an awesome card. I think it's worth picking up right now. Um, near mint condition, you can still get it in between $14 and $16 over on TCG Player. If it starts to get over that $20 marker, I think it's a little bit too expensive for the type of card that it is. But if you can grab it at $14, $15, $16, I think that's a buy all day. Get that near mint condition, guys. It matters. Continuing in down the list, we're actually going way back in time. We're taking the time machine. That's right, guys. All the way back to Wizards of the Coast. First edition, Neo Discovery Eevee. Eevee has been making quite a few appearances here on the list, and that's because Eevee is getting 
that love from from the Pokemon company that Pikachu normally gets. So yes, Pikachu is still getting tons of love. It's the mascot, but Eevee is right there. It was even on the Thanksgiving float this year. Um, Eevee is getting so much push and so much love from the Pokemon company. It's really being utilized as a secondary mascot. So from now on, moving forward, in my opinion, I think, yes, we're still going to continue to see Pikachu, but I really think we're going to see a lot of Eevee um, moving forward as well. So fan favorite, Eevee is probably right up there with Charizard and Pikachu uh, in terms of how many people love this Pokemon. It's very cute. So everybody who loves those cutesy Pokemon really enjoy collecting Eevee. So I don't see this card ever coming down in price from where it's at. And getting that first edition really matters in this case because it's just an uncommon card. There's no holographic in it. So when you're buying these vintage cards and you're not going for like the hollow rares, I strongly recommend getting that first edition because getting like a first edition uncommon is almost like getting a hollow rare of a lesser fan favorite Pokemon in my, in my thoughts. So, and when you're getting that near mint, 20 year old card fan favorite first edition to cut the rarity you're really check marking all the boxes in those facts and you can pick up this card right now over on tcg player in near mint condition for about 14 to 16 dollars so it's right around that same price range as that alakazam so it's weird to think right i have a more modern xy fates collide secret rare alakazam going for the same price as an uncommon vintage neo but first edition Fan favorite, super duper fan favorite, Eevee. Very similar, right? I would pretty much buy like one of each. I think the Eevee might even be the better play here over the Alakazam in terms of long-term appreciation because there's not that many first editions right here in near mint condition. I mean, you're looking at, gosh, 14. So there's only 14 over on TCG Player right now that fit the mold that I'm talking about. I would be okay going down to lightly played for this card because it's under $10. But my rule of thumb is if you can save half, it's worth going for lightly played. And in this, this scenario, you're not really saving half. You're still doing like 75% of the cost. So you might as well go up to near mint in this case. We've made it to the halfway marker here on the list of top five cards right now that I believe are underrated and undervalued in the Pokemon TCG. I do these lists every single Monday. So if you guys like this type of video and you want to see what other cards I think are undervalued, make sure you guys check us out every single Monday at 2 p.m. EST here on the channel. I give you guys five more cards and I'm going to go with Celebi Prism Star from Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. So just like the Alakazam I said before, the Sun and Moon era era i also think is in that buy now phase because it's before the mass printing especially towards the end of sun and moon where we started to get some of that mass printing lost thunder right in the middle of sun and moon is completely null and void from that so uh, lost thunder is an amazing set people loved it very long time introduced sarah aura which was really fun but the prism star cards themselves I think are going to be worth picking up just like the amazing rares. I think the prism stars and the amazing rares are those unique subsets within a set. And when you can get that like rarity, right? Of that subset inside of a set, people remember it. It's nostalgic for people. They remember pulling those prism star cards. They remember pulling those amazing rares. And the fact that that both prism stars and amazing rares are so affordable right now is insane and Celebi is actually the cheapest of all of the Pokemon Prism Star cards. There's a couple of Prism Star trainers that are more affordable, but this Celebi itself goes for in between a dollar and a dollar fifty, so closer to like a dollar thirty, which is absolutely insane because it's a full holographic card. It's got the black border instead of the yellow border, which makes it stand out. So when you get these cards that completely stand out from your standard Pokemon TCG card. I like adding those to my collection because they're so different, they're more unique. 25 years from now when people, you know, are doing the Pokemon collecting thing and they maybe weren't even around when these cards were released, they don't even know what they are, but they spark that, like that, you know, boom, that light bulb, that eye, like, ooh, that's a beautiful card. That must have been special. So 
I think this card is a huge buy in this case. Celebi's been getting a lot of love. It's a mythical Pokemon. They just got shiny Celebi for Sword and Shield. We just got the alternate art. So they're definitely doing a little bit of focus here. So I don't know. I just think Celebi is pretty cool. It's a great card. I would go ahead and grab it because it's so, so affordable. Today's video is brought to you by Titan Shield. Empower passion and preserve value over on their Amazon store, which is the best place to pick up these wonderful sleeves and card protectors. Let's take a look and see what they have. Using code FUNHOUSE15 at the checkout gives you 15% off the entire order. Take a look at these standard size sleeves, which are perfect for Magic the Gathering and Pokemon collectors. They have your fan favorites of black and clear, along with some more unique options like the pink and orange, which are super phenomenal. They also have these in the Japanese sizes for all of you Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there. My favorite product they carry, though, are the Perfect Fits. The double sleeving, the double protection is absolutely phenomenal. And these are very, very affordable. You get a thousand inner sleeves for $20 before the 15% off. This is my absolute favorite product that they do carry. But they have everything, guys. Look at these top loaders, three by four, penny sleeves, nine page pockets. They have everything that you need over on the Amazon store. Use the link in the description, guys. And don't forget to use Funhouse code FUNHOUSE15 to get 15% off your entire Titan Shield order. We are going to keep on keeping on here on the list and on the fourth slot. And remember, in no particular order, I'm going back in time again to another Wizards of the Coast to my favorite Pokemon TCG set of all time, Team Rocket. And I'm going with a starter, Kanto starter, Charmander. And just like I said for my number two card here on the list, first edition, first edition, Vintage cards are massive. Yes, it's just a common card, but when you add that first edition rarity to it, it is significantly more rare than your unlimited common cards. It's almost more like a, a non-hollow rare or even a holographic rare in this case for the Charmander. And of course, we're talking about Charmander. I've had other vintage first edition Charmanders on these lists in the past. I think they're huge buys no matter what. And this card is actually still quite affordable right around that four to five dollar marker which is insane now there's a lot more of these cards on tcg player than there is the evs so the evs is significantly more rare that's why it's like 14 to 16 dollars and this charmander is like four to six but charmander would probably trump evie in terms of fan favorites so this could be my favorite card on all of this video the artwork is phenomenal Team Rocket is a lot of people's favorite vintage set right there next to base set. Like people love Team Rocket. Uh, Dark Charizard is an awesome card. So getting that Charmander first edition, Charmeleon first edition are huge buys. I'm going Charmander first because it's the most affordable, but who doesn't like Charmander, right guys? I mean, it's, let's be real. Almost all of us selected Charmander in red and blue and uh, I was going to say yellow, but they give you Pikachu. Who wants to play with freaking Pikachu when I can have Charmander, you know? I'm just saying. Um, but almost all of us went with Charmander, let's be honest, guys. From day one, dominated and is still all over the place. So, again, vintage, 20 years old, near mint condition, five bucks, first edition Charmander. It's a steal. Finishing off the list here is a set that I think has so many cards in that buy now section because it's just flooding the market and i'm going with shining fates and just like in my last video you're going to start me you're going to start to see me doing these kinds of things where i'm going to give you three cards in one slot or two cards like if it makes sense right so in this case i'm going with the shiny starters from shining fates that's right the grookey the score bunny and the sobble all three of these are huge buy nows because when you're buying starters you can almost never go wrong. People love their starter Pokemon. People who got into Pokemon during the Galar region in Generation 8 are going to remember these three Pokemon forever, right? Same reason why we still remember Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. It's going to continue the trend for all those people who started playing in Generation 8 or even returned in Generation 8. I know tons of people that went from Kanto to Johto and then kind of fell off and now they came back for Galar or during the uh, Alolan region. But the reason why this is a huge buy for me right now, it's because the cards are so cheap and they're so affordable. You can get all three shiny variants. Remember, we're talking about shiny holographics, the shiny vault cards. Score Bunny, market price, 
$1.66, Sobble $1.79, and Grookey $1.58. So all three of these shiny variant starter Pokemon are under $2. That is insane to me. I am going to be loading up on tons of these cards. And remember, guys, on Friday, I'm posting a video where I spent $100 over on TCG Player, and you can see what I buy so make sure you guys hit that notification bell. You don't miss that video. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to show you guys some of the tactics that I use to buy cards, what I actually bought, and I'm going to give you the valuations on it and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be a fun video. Um, but Shining Fates is in a huge buy section for me right now, especially when you can buy starters. So at these low floor prices, I would be loading up right now. And that's it, guys. That is the end of our video of top five undervalued Pokemon TCG cards in today's current market that I would buy and add to my collection. And remember, we post this series every single Monday at 2 p.m. EST. Let me know in the comments section what cards do you think are huge buys right now and where did I miss on this list? Where do you disagree? And give me cards that you're looking at because I learn from you guys too, right? So I'm not perfect. I'm not... You know, hey, yes, only me, guys. No, I get some of these cards from you guys down there, and it really sparks my interest to get me to look at them over on TCG Player and eBay sold listings. So be vocal, guys. I reply to every single comment. It's been getting harder. I've been getting flooded with more and more comments every single video that I do. Much appreciated. I love you guys so much. It's absolutely insane, but I do my best to reply to everybody. But... I know you're really here for the entry details, guys. I know that's why you stuck around. Hey, your patience pays off, because here it is, right now. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to the end of today's video. That's right, it's giveaway details time. What? We're giving away a Pokemon 25th Anniversary Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. We cranked up November's Celebration Giveaway all the way up. I know you guys have still been having a hard time finding it out at your store, so I'm going to be giving one away here on the channel. So how do you get your entry details for the Celebrations ETB? One, you must be a subscriber here on the TCG Funhouse channel. Two, you must leave a comment on the videos. Anything you guys want to comment, sometimes I ask a question, I ask for your advice, your opinions. Answer those guys because I love chatting with you. I respond to every single one. And number three, you must like the videos. And why I say like the videos? Because you can get an entry for every single video that we post in the month of December. And we post three to four videos a week here on YouTube. So you could be looking at 16 to 18 entries for this Celebrations ETB. And if you do those for every video, that's how you get your entry. Absolutely phenomenal, guys. Let me know. What do you think? Celebrations? Are you excited? I hope so. I'll see you around.